Alright guys, we're back at it again. Today we continue this really spooky ass walkthrough here in the Evil Within 2. I know a lot of you guys enjoy watching me play 95% of the time actually being spooked out. So I want to welcome you back to the channel. As always, my name is Hollow. And welcome back! Speaking of kind of like spooky and mysterious, I did actually post the end of the Hidden Agenda. It was a two-piece part episode gameplay walkthrough. It was like Until Dawn guys missed those episodes i'll link them down in the description it is a must probably the best game of the month very short but amazing i'll link it down in the description so you guys can check it out but anyways last time that we left off here all right with mr sebastian castellanos the guy that got the built balls of steel this guy gives no fucks okay he, he just doesn't even give a shit anyways chapter six on the hunt we got to pass through the marrow okay now the marrow i i i, I don't know where the marrow is so I would assume investigate the Mobius uh, resonance. I think I know there was like a uh, I know there was kind of like a, an underground passageway, but I'm I'm assuming that was simply just probably like a side mission, and it was over here. Hold on, now, I I don't want to go that way. Simply because I don't want to sidetrack myself, but I want to ask you guys. Maybe you guys know what it is. Kick that shit, man. You can't be opening this shit nicely, bro. You got to be a savage. You got to let these ghosts here or whatever the creatures are that you ain't scared, bro. Okay. All right. Here we go. I think it was here. Okay. So here it is. Now, there's this underground stuff here that I don't know what the hell it is. See, I, I, I don't know what this is. And I have a feeling that this is not part of the marrow. But then again, I don't know. And then again, I think I also need extra health. Just in case, because you never know. Alright, you see what I mean? Okay, it's locked. You know what? I'm actually grateful that that's locked. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm, I'm not ready to go under there yet. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just not, I'm not mentally prepared for that shit. So, uh, we're just gonna continue on here. I am home alone, and I, 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 I hate playing this game, especially when I'm home alone. It just gives me the creeps, man. But thankfully for us, this building is empty, and there really isn't anything that we should be scared of at this moment. But uh, I guess our job here is done, I guess, for the moment at least. I do have a feeling that we will come back, especially now seeing that that underground passageway is, uh, well locked for now i would assume that in the future it will be unlocked so we do have to as it says here we got to go to exit d5 we got to search exit d5 and there's some things here that i didn't search all right just because we had to fight that boss and, and all that stuff that's probably i don't know what that was but i saw some type of static there pop up all right, nothing here. Oh, hello. All right, just gotta make sure you investigate these bodies, you know? Look at this. Look at this, medical pouch. You see what I'm talking about? The nylon pouch is used to carry additional medical syringes. Now I can carry more than three, bro. Fuck yeah, holla at you, boy. All day, every day, up in this bitch. All right, Sebastian Cabianos, Castellanos, Cabianos. Let's go. Let's let's go search that exit D5 and give him the D. You know what I mean? No? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, I need to I need to calm down. All right. Let's climb the ladder. I honestly hate climbing ladders, dude. By the way, a lot of you guys were telling me about Amnesia. It was, it was free on the PlayStation. I just added it to my library just because it was a free game alongside with Metal Gear. So now I have those two games for free, which I'm probably going to play on my time off. Or I don't know if I'll bring some Amnesia videos or whatnot, but I don't know. Um, All right. So I'm going to drink up some coffee because I need to restore my health. I'm gonna upgrade real quick. I'm gonna upgrade myself real quick. So I'm gonna go into uh Oh what? Was that there before? Huh? What? Was that door there before? Yeah, what? What the fuck? Oh goodness. Alright, you know what? I'll be right back. 
Uh, your boy's gonna be right back. I don't even have a map available. What the fuck is this? All right, let's do this. All right. It kind of makes no sense. It's like if there was a wheelchair and and, and the nurse was here the last time. How come she, you know this? You oh! Something with you. A key. Excellent. Some keys open doors of perception, but this isn't one of them. This one is more mundane, but still useful. Okay. But I'll say is in the first evil within you. Go on, open one. Its contents are better off in your hands than locked away in here. Oh, okay, you little slutty ass nurse. What I'm saying is that in the first evil within, we had this nurse, right? And you obviously upgraded your character. Well, how come the upgrades don't apply to the second part? It's not like it. I don't know. All right. Well, I guess I guess that's cool enough. You look like you could use some help, detective. You've returned, and now you fully understand what you're up against. He's powerful. He's also a sick freak. But he is as driven as you are, and seeking the same thing. You are more alike than you'd care to admit. I'm not like him. He's a murderer. And there are no bodies strewn in the path behind you. <laughs> I'm not here to debate with you. Let's get going. I got stuff to do. All right. All right. So I'm gonna really quickly. <sighs> Should I upgrade my recovery? This one looks pretty good. Yeah. All right. I think that's pretty good. All right. There we go. So now we can crouch and um, while crouched, we can also walk a little bit quicker, which I will just say I don't really see the difference, but let's open up this mysterious door. Oh, shit. What the hell is this? This guy's got balls, man. It's a chance to test your skills. Step right up and try your luck, detective. Oh, <laughs> this is insane. You'd be insane to pass this up. Steady your hand and put your shooting skills to work. No need to worry about ammunition in here. Alright, honestly, I don't care about this. Alright, so this is a shooting range, which is... <laughs> it's kind of weird. So, we've unlocked a shooting range. Nice. Cool beans, man. Thank you for that. Alright. Make sure we're prepped up here. See if I can craft anything. Okay, I'll do a reload time. There it goes. There we go. Reload time. There it is. Alright. That's pretty much as good as it's gonna get. Alright, so we're gonna head our way back. Alright, we're gonna go to uh, City Hall, or the Union. The other part of the Union. And see how we can find this, uh, find this D5. So, pass through the marrow. And search for exit D5. Alright. So we're in B2 right now. So where can D5 be? Can we see a map here? Alright, so... City Hall. Pass through the marrow. This is the marrow though, right? Okay. Alright, let's open this up. So this is City Hall. Oh. This must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. Oh. Okay. All right. D5. I see you. That wasn't too hard to find. Okay. Oh, well, now what? The Marrow Access Tunnel West. Uh, oh. Oh. Well, uh. Lily? This place is messing with my mind. All right. 
Y'all wanna fuck around with a man's emotions and shit? You guys are wrong for this. That is not, not cool, man. Okay, I'm gonna unlock this because I have a feeling we're probably gonna get some shit in here. So here we go. All right. Let's match the waves. There it is. All right. Open up. And. Oh, man. I thought we were going to get, like, a new weapon. Well, at least we got parts and stuff. This usually gives us, like, ammunition and weapon parts and stuff like that. So, we got weapon parts. And we got some more green gel. Well, that's actually a lot of gel. It's 1,000 gel. It's actually not too bad. And what's here? Another piece of metal pipe. Just in case. Okay, so they're... They're loading us up. Usually when they load us up, you know what that means. Alright. Let's do this. Now, the problem here is... There's another door next to us. What? Where does this door lead? Oh. Okay. This guy's probably got a pouch. A different type of pouch. Okay, pouch upgrade. So, handgun ammo. 26. Oh, you can even have up to 60. Okay, that's that's good to know. Well, good shit, man. Nice. Alright, we got uh, some more gunpowder. And let's open up this little drawer here. Some more weapon parts. Another 15 parts for your... Okay. Okay. Yeah, bitch. Don't start with this bullshit, dude. It's too early for this shit, alright? Don't fucking start with this. God, scared the shit out of me. Like, seriously. Hey, look. Hey, hey, we, we got some pouches for you, bro. Hey, hey, we got some gunpowder. Turn around. Well, bam. We got a fucking guy trying to kill you. Sick ass game, bro. I'm telling you, this game is sick in the head. Whoever made this game, Bethesda, Bethesda. I hate y'all. Hate y'all for doing this. Okay. One more syringe. Um, handgun ammo. I'm gonna do two. Dude, you gotta literally scavenge for shit in this game, man. Jesus. Alright. So, we're loaded here. I'm gonna load up my shotgun. And, um, off we go to the tunnels of D5. Okay, oh, actually, I noticed it. Okay. All right. Y'all tripping, man. All right, all right. Y'all fucking tripping with me, man. I don't fuck around, bro. Fuck the bullshit. Shit. Y'all scary as hell, but I got some weapons. Ready to knock your asses into smithereens. Okay. Alright. I'm wondering if those barrels do do any justice. Sayonara, bitch. <laughs> All right. All right. This shit is creepy as hell, bro. All right. So here we go. Uh, <laughs> man, this game, I swear to God, the thing about this game is when you encounter these people, like, they're not so easy to kill. They're actually pretty, uh, they're pretty challenging to kill. So it's not like, oh, okay, I encounter people. It's all good. Doesn't matter. No, you have to be careful. Like, it makes the game. I feel like the game makes it a little bit difficult and challenging to kill the enemies. So it kind of encourages you to actually try and be sneaky. That's why it's so, like, you barely get any ammo, barely get anything, you know? And then when you do have a shotgun, you never got fucking bullets. Whoa. Oh. What the hell is this stuff? Yo. All right, I'm gonna have this shit ready, bro, because you never know. Yeah, what the hell is that? 
Looks like monster semen or something. Oh, goodness. Alright. Siemens? Are these like giant bulbs of sperm cells or something? Nope. Okay. Alright. They were right. They said, we don't know what you're... O'Neill said, we don't know. I don't know what you're going to encounter down there. So be careful. Well, you've... You were right, my friend. A lot of monster semen. All around here. Okay. What? How you doing? All right. Calm down, guys. No need for the static televisions. All right. Is there anything that I can gather up here? Any resources? Of course not. Why would I be able to gather resources? That would be stupid. Okay. Okay. Never mind. I was wrong. Stop and listen to yourself, Myra. A secret society abducted Lily and staged her death? Do you realize how crazy that sounds? But it's true. Why can't you understand that? I know it's hard to accept, Myra. But she's gone. Our little girl is gone. But I have proof. Look. Myra, you're obsessed. You need rest. Once you get past this, you'll learn to accept. No. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. Oh, Myra. You were right all along. So that's what happened. Is that how they separated? Photographic slide, a relic from the pre-phone camera era. These are found mostly in old people's attics and stuff. Okay. So basically, that's what happened. But why am I seeing this now? So I really had no idea why they separated from each other. Like why Myra left and why they're no longer together. And I would assume it's because maybe she knew where Lily was, or maybe she knew what happened to Lily, or had an idea. Maybe maybe she came over here. I don't know. I mean, I would assume that would make sense in the plot of this game. Oh, shit. What if she's evil now? Or some crazy shit. You imagine, bro? <laughs> Gotta beat my wife's ass. Anything for my daughter. Okay. Oh. <gasps> How you doing, bro? How you doing? All right, fuck me. A trillion gazillion times. Okay. I'm not going to be able to take that on, you know? Okay, and I, <laughs> it's forcing me to go over there. Okay. <laughs> Yo, I'm so nervous. It's funny, bro. Fuck. There's a guy there. Okay. I wouldn't doubt it if that shit stands up. Okay, okay. Just trying to be safe here. Oh my goodness. Oh god. Oh. Oh. What in God's name is that shit? How am I supposed to kill that? Good God, look at the size of that thing. Maybe I can sneak past it. Alright. Yo, Sebastian, I'm, I hate to break it to you, bro. There is no sneaking around this thing. Okay. Shit. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, hey! Oh, what's up, my friend? Okay. You don't want to talk? Hey, let's talk about this. Hey, hold on, bro. All right. Hey, 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 hey. Let's talk about this, bro. We can be civil about this, man. Woo! Okay. I'm out of here. Oh, I'm already 5,000. Okay, I'm trapped in a corner. Okay. Okay. I got this fool on my ass. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I got to get the hell out of here. Yo, what the hell was that, bro? Thought I was going to be able to kill it, but... I, don't, I wasn't even going to try and waste my ammo on it. Seriously, that would have just been stupid. Okay. Thankfully, I didn't have to uh, fight it. Oh, mysterious bobblehead. You feel like you've seen this before, but you can't quite put it on. <laughs> that is awesome. That is really awesome. Okay. All right. 
No way. Okay. Dude, thank God. Thank the Lord we don't have to fight that. Is there anything around here? Doesn't look like it. Let's continue. Oh! oh shit! I spoke. Oh god. Oh god. God, the aiming in this game is fucking horrible. Maybe I need to change my settings, bro. Okay. Let up. Let up. Let our brother leave, bro. Okay. God, that was horrible. I thought this place was supposed to be fucking stable. Yeah, bro. Whatever happened to that? I'm not going to lie. I hate... For those... The people that have played this game, they know what I'm talking about. The aiming in this game is... It just feels weird. It doesn't feel smooth. All right. the hell is going on here okay so we got a bunch of doors here so this probably means that we're gonna get more resources now we're gonna get some more uh things maybe weapon parts or okay what 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 lies in there all righty look it's one of these treasure chests in here okay maybe we gotta open this door it's gonna be another one of them in here for sure okay all right there it is Oh, goodness. Please tell me you're going to give me, like, a lot of ammo. I have nothing for my shotgun, man. Come on, don't do this to me. All right. Yep, we are definitely... Definitely getting set up for something huge. More weapon parts? Hey, no problemo, man. All right, so we have a, a displacement protocols. Emergency core displacement protocols it is immersive that a missing core be replaced as soon as possible a core that has been missing for even a few hours can affect the stem programming if the core is missing for over 36 hours emergency protocols must be instituted in order to prevent the core from escaping what the core would be a lily i would assume emergency protocols are only accessible for mobius operatives with alpha security clearance and can only be viewed on the Merrill servers the core is lily right I think it was. Okay. Anything in here? Nope. Alright. None of these drawers seem to be opening. So, really quickly, I'm going to craft something over here in the field. I don't even have enough for that. Shit. Alright. Well, reload this bad boy up. Reload the shotgun. I'm getting ready for battle, bro. What's in here? Holla at your boy. Okay. Uh oh. Hello? Hello? Guys? Oh. Okay, so we have a, a view of all the cameras. Someone's been watching. Mobius. Lily. Whoever's been here was gathering data on her. <gasps> Don't move. You're Mobius, right? I've Shut up! <coughs> Don't say a word. You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. Who told you that? Turn around. Do it slow. Yo, who the hell is that? <clears throat> You're Yukiko Hoffman. How do you know my name? I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. Well, you do? Now we have an ally. I guess. Lack of micro expressions and deflection. No verbal parroting. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. <laughs> Dang, girl. Right. 
the team psychologist. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. So they're sending independent contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have. But the only one I've found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on. But this place is still falling apart. And I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union, and can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms. But in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Mm -hmm. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. Scammers? He thinks he's some sort of artist. <laughs> it's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that Very in mind. Very true. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Let's pair communicators so that we can stay in touch. Oh, good. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless. He's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. Well, that's good to do. Uh, Lily thinks I'm dead. All right, let's so see. does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. Oh. I thought it was the truth too, until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. Oh, it wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right. But consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, but she can't be with you. Yeah. Maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. Okay, psychopath, something more to this? If Mobius knew to keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent. Aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us... That sounds creepy, man. ...is obviously adroit and self-aware. Disturbingly so. Great. So the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. I feel terribly responsible for all of this. I helped devise those tests. Damn, that's freaking crazy, man. That's you said you crazy. think there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. Even with the power of the core. He mentioned someone before. Another person who wanted the core's power. That could mean... No. It's too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a psychopath in here. But I need to do some research before I can commit to the theory. Alright. Shit, man. Alright. That... Oh, dude, that is... Well, I'm actually very happy that we now have, you know, somebody else that can help us. Somebody else that's here inside with us. And uh, makes things a whole lot better. You know what I'm saying? Man, things are getting really interesting, guys. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to call it quits here. This is where this episode is going to end. I cannot wait 
to play the next one to really find out what happens after the story is now starting to really evolve and get extremely just interesting to be honest overall hope you guys enjoyed your stay here today if you guys are enjoying these evil within two videos i know they're not doing too hot but if you guys are enjoying them and want me to continue just leave me a like on the video i would always appreciate it and um as always thank you for always tuning back to the channel and watching me play video games it's a pleasure to entertain you guys <laughs>